Hello, welcome to a new video tutorial. In this video class, I like to discuss the topic radioisotopic technique. So, in this class, I am going to discuss what is radioisotope. What are all the main roles performed by this radioisotope in the field of biological research? So, let us try to study the topic radioisotope. But before going to study the topic, we need to know some basic term so that we can easily able to understand the concept clearly. So let us move into the first term that is what is isotope? Isotope is two or more atom having same atomic number but, they, but their mass number will be different. An atom having same atomic number but their mass number will be different. Let us take an example. Hydrogen has three isotopes. One is called proteum. You can see this is the atomic number. This proteum has atomic number one. Second one is called deuterium. Their atomic number is also one. Third one is called tritium. Their atomic number is also one. But their mass number will be different. Proteum, mass number one. Deuterium, mass two. Tritium atomic mass 3. So their mass number will be different. Mass number means neutron plus proton. But atomic number means number of protons only. Okay. So that is about radio, that is about isotope. Like that in nature we have different kinds of isotope. And second one, what is radioactivity? We know that an atom possess a definite nucleus that is nucleus within that nucleus you can see neutron and proton around that nucleus electrons are revolving in a specific subset or shell that is the atom radioactivity means the nucleus of an unstable atom try to convert into a stable form by releasing energy in different form that is it may be either alpha particle beta gamma like that so that process is called a radioactivity so those compounds which shows such kind of radioactivity are called radioactive compounds and those if a, if a radioactive compound takes one year for converting into half of its original size by emitting certain radiation of certain particle like alpha, beta, gamma, then that duration is called T half or half life period. Time required by a radioactive compound for converting to its converting to the half of its original size, then that duration is called half life period for example if you take an example of uranium uranium 235 is a is a radioactive compound it takes 700 700 million years it takes 700 million years to become half like that francium 223 it takes only 22 minutes to become half so the half life period will be vary for each radioactive element. It will be very short and it will be very long. So now we, we have to study what is radioisotope. We already studied what is isotope, what is radioactivity. Now we can uh, study what is radioisotope. Radioisotope means it is an isotope showing the property of radioactivity. An isotope showing radioactivity are called radioisotope. So let us take an example carbon 14. Carbon 14 is an isotope showing radioactivity. It is not an ordinary carbon, not an ordinary carbon 12, it is a carbon 14. So carbon 14 is an example of an isotope of carbon showing radioactivity and its half-life period is 5730 year. So it takes long time to become half. 
Let the second one is called cobalt 16. It is an isotope, it is a radioisotope of cobalt that is called cobalt 16. It is a radioisotope and that perform a definite role in the field of biology that is used to against hypothyroidism in humans. Like that you can see iodine 131, it is a radioisotope of iodine and that iodine also perform some applications in the field of biotechnology that iodine 131 are commonly used in breath test for detecting the ulcer causing bacteria that is really heliobacter pylori for detecting the ulcer causing bacteria heliopyrori we are depending iodine 31 radioactive compound so radioisotope perform different applications in the field of biotechnology okay now let us try to understand what are the what is the purpose of radioactivity why we depend radioactive element why we depend radioactive isotope so its answer is we can perform different kinds of biological function for biological application like this detecting specific pathogen causing specific disease causing bacteria to treat a certain disease like that we can use as a best tracer for analyzing the metabolic pathway we know that some experiment in a few experiments in the field of photosynthesis are performed by using this radioactive element in order to find out its metabolic pathway. Like that, in the field of genetics, we are depending this radioactive element as a tracer. We know that the genetic material in most of the living organism is DNA. That was discovered by using this kind of radioisotope. Okay. We are all familiar with the famous experiment which proved DNA as the genetic material by using radioactive element like phosphorus 32 and sulfur 35. These are all that experiment were conducted by using this kind of radioisotopic element. So radioisotope performed different kind of biological perform as a best tool for various research activities. So the purpose of radioactivity is for it act as it act as the best tool for various biological research like this. Now we need to know one more thing about this radioisotopic technique. This radioactivity how we can able to quantify or how we can able to analyze or detect the radioactivity in a given sample so its answer is we can we can detect and quantify the radioactivity by various techniques it includes ionization of gases we can ionize the gases in a in a specific chamber that ionization signal can be converted into electrical signal and can be monitored like the excitation of solid or solution by radioactivity. And third one is called autoradiography. Autoradiography means it is an ability to expose the radioactivity released by radioactive compound on a photographic plate or a photographic emulsion. You can able to expose the radioactivity released by a radioactive compound on a photographic emulsion or a photographic plate thereby we can able to detect the presence of radioactivity that process is called autoradiography now here among these three we are going to study the autoradiography technique used in biology for detecting the radioactive compound in a given sample so let us try to understand how the autoradiography works okay Look here, you can see the structure, you can see a slide over here, over that slide you can see a black shaded sample, this is sample, black colored shaded box is a sample, within that sample you can see a red colored radioactive element, radioactive, this red colored element is compound, is a radioactive element that are embedded within the sample. 
So I kept this sample with radioactive urine on a slide. After that, that slide with the sample coated with the photographic emulsion or you can keep photographic plate over that. And this photographic emulsion you can, or in that photographic emulsion you can see lot of dark colored rings or circles. That photographic emulsion within that or photographic emulsion you can see dark colored ring. That indicates the ABCL, silver, silver chloride. So here the photographic emulsion is a silver chloride. Okay. Then, after that, the radioactive element or radioactive common within the sample releases some form of energy that is, it may be either in the form of an alpha particle, beta or gamma. So, in, in order to, that, that radioactive element need to, the nucleus of that radioactive element need to convert into a stable form. For that purpose, they release a certain form of energy in the form of a particle like alpha, beta, gamma. So during the radioactive disintegration, this radioactive element releases, radioactive element releases some form of energy. It may be either alpha, beta, gamma. So that radio, the, 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 the energy released by this radioactive element reduces the silver ions into silver atom creating a dark color so here i mark that reduced silver atom in the form of a shaded ring so you can see that this radioactive element reduces the silver ion into silver atom that can be visible by a dark colored region so after this process we can wash this photographic emulsion so after washing, you can get only the reduced silver atom, whereas all other silver ions get washed off. So you can trace the presence of this radioactive element within the sample. And you can also you can also use photo photographic plate in, in, instead of photographic emulsion. So we can take a correct mark, we can we can get a correct mark of this the reduced silver atom, thereby we can said that the given sample contains a specific radioactive element. That's all.